Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Build a Space Station. Now on screen you can see where we were up to last time. We now have a medical bay as well as a nuclear power station on our outside rings and we've also planned out a little bit about what we want to do with the remaining four that we are yet to build. And of course we've been carrying on to plow through that middle Hannah and get some of the floors up and ready and some of them are just built, some of them have their function put in already. There's still a bit of work to do, but anyway, today I've got to finish off the attachment of the medical bay to the outer rim, and also I'm going to do a bit of work inside the Hano again and carry on to our third outer disc. So without any further ado, let's get started. So, first thing I did was I came across to our medical bay and designed a way of attaching the outer rim to it. Now I started off sort of copying the architecture from the outer rim, but soon I realised that wait a minute, this isn't actually aligning up with the height that we built our disc on, because we designed all the discs to go down a bit, to add a bit of fancy navigation and make it just a little less uniform, which is still a good thing, but because I'd forgot it, it means I now have to alter that design that I was planning earlier. So I created around halfway through a drop down by a height of one block to allow it to fade into the height that it needs to be when it hits the medical bay. So you can see me copying the standard style. I've been using a copper outline of white, very clinical. I keep forgetting what block that actually is, but wherever it is, I use that as a flooring. And of course, my steel walls and reinforced glass windows. So you can see me here toying around with the transition between the two heights, seeing exactly how I want to do it and eventually getting something that I am happy with. Now I had a look and thought actually that the roof of this looks very plain and bland, so I decided I wanted to do something to mix it up a bit and I thought maybe I could do something with the black ring that runs around the medical bay. So I tried bringing that up and into a point but it didn't quite look right. And I tried a few things until eventually I decided I would copy the light style from the outer rim and bring that down this walkway towards the medical bay. So you can see me doing that now, filling in the gaps with those green lamps. And then just going inside and running a little bit of red alloy wire from the outer rim down this corridor. And there we go, the medical bay outside is all done. So now we had to tackle the inside. So I decided that around the edge of this circle, we would have all the beds for patients have been admitted to this ward and each bed contained a pole that would hold any medicine that needed to be additioned into through the bloodstream. There would be a table, of course, just for comfort, and also a monitor that would be checking up and making sure that nothing is going wrong with the patients. So I'd go around and copy this design, changing the way the blocks are placed slightly just to make it a bit varied so it isn't the same thing over and over again. And I'd go around the full outside of this, and then I started thinking about what I wanted to put in the center of this disc and I thought that I could put a sort of surgery area that was cordoned off from the rest. This is as if there was a real emergency, the person would be taken in here to be operated on. So I came up one block with the steel to add a bit of a lip and then built some walls out of that clinical white material so that from the inside it's a vast majority of that which makes a really nice effect and then created an entranceway and replaced what was the bottom of this skylight to a raised up section where the operating table it's or, to, or bed should I say would be itself and I jumped around adding little bits of variation there and then but that was ultimately the medical bay finished and it felt good to get another of those outer discs completely done. So I then came back into the main hangar and started to build the last of the floors that we would need before we could get into putting all the utility into the upper section of this. So you can see me running around and placing that same white clinical block as the flooring I have been before. And I skip ahead here because obviously you don't want to watch me just lay your whole floor down. You've seen me do that enough in this, this program. So I go around and then add in the black lip of the dark matter block and that is the final floor finished. Now I got a lot of comments about what we could do to add 
to these outer discs. And they were a docking station, a brig, and a farm type area. And I liked all three of those ideas, so I thought that I could have a brig in place of a solar panel disc. The docking station I'd already planned, and I'll talk about that in a second. But what I decided to do this disc on was the farm idea, but modified slightly, so I thought food would be in compressed storage. But what I liked about the farm idea was something to create oxygen. There would need to be a replaceable supply of oxygen up on this space station if it would be able to have it life. And if we built a sort of enclosed tree area, uh, something that could photosynthesize and therefore produce the oxygen, then that makes sense and it makes this seem like a more realistic build, which I really liked. So you can see me here, I created a big dome that would encase all of our tree plant life that would be creating the oxygen for us and I toyed around with ways to add a bit of a steel reinforcement over the reinforced glass and eventually settled with something I was happy with. I then came round to build a very similar bottom to this disc as we had to any of the others but of course with this being such a tall dome it will stand out from the rest so I didn't fancy feeling like I had to do anything particularly fancy with the bottom half. So I just went around with the usual dark lip, a copper inner section, a bit like the outer ring you can see in the background there, and then filled in the middle section with steel blocks just to finish it all off. Now I said I would come back and talk about that docking station, so I'm going to do that now while I'm filling in the floor. So my plan is to have three spires coming up from the outside of three of our six outer discs and they would reach up above the main hangar and meet at a large docking port station almost where lots of spaceships could be docked and passengers could come aboard or leave the space station. So that's what I'm planning to do, that will be a very later, almost near the end of the whole build sort of project. But just to let you guys know, because a few people have mentioned it now, that is what I am planning. So, coming inside this disc, I laid down a floor of grass, and of course I wanted this to be filled with trees, but I didn't just want it to be a flat surface with like five trees in a pentagon sticking up, because that looks very, un very artificial and unnatural. So I then came around and built up some hill areas, I think I built two, one of which actually came up two blocks, not just one. And then I also dug in to create a bit of a pond area, and that gave me a very good idea, at least an idea I liked. I could have from the top of this dome a section that held the water and let it come down and flow into this pond. And that would give it something varied that you could see from an outer view of this space station, and I thought that would be very good. So I ran around with saplings, I couldn't get jungle trees to work, I guess the roof wasn't tall enough. But I run around with my bone meal and just get all these up in positions I can. Run around and put out a layer of grass again just to give it that bit more depth. And then I thought I would come around with some vines to make it seem really overgrown and rich. So I thought that vines always make trees look just that little bit nicer I think. So that was our space um, oxygen supply set up, I now had to build again the attachment from the outer rim to this station so you can see me doing that now and again with this being probably the most extravagant or maybe once we build the gun it would be but at least so far the most extravagant of the outer rims I didn't think I needed to do anything special with this connection to make it any more detailed because I thought we had plenty of detail with that massive glass reinforced dome so I just came along with the steel blocks, the standard material we've been using for this build, and filled that in. I copied in the floor pattern from the same thing we've been doing the whole time, but soon realised actually it wasn't thick enough quite to get it to work, so decided to do it completely from copper. And I put in a reinforced glass roof and brought those dark matter blocks around the outside. And that was pretty much the structure completed for our in sat for our oxygen supply disc. I need to think of a better name for that. Let me know if you have any ideas for a fancy name we could call this. You see me now going around adding in some lamps just so that the build looks good at night because of course in a space station we wouldn't have this blue background. It would be the dark sp space skyline. 
So I go around adding in a few lamps and then I tackle the problem of getting this oxygen from our chamber into the main hangar. So I run around with both red power and build craft pipes, though of course these wouldn't be pumping oxygen in the game. For the purpose of our build they give the aesthetic that I was looking for. And I get both the build craft and the red power pump and they actually fit really nicely into each other because it allows both pipes to connect to something. So coming back into the main hangar for a little bit I go around with the red ollie wire and put in some lamps just to finish off the structure of these upper floors and get them really ready to put some function in. And that might be something we tackle next time trying to add a bit more function but to be honest we haven't even finished the bottom hangar so there's still a lot of function to be added to this middle hangar, this um, middle section of the space station. So who knows. But anyway, that is it for today, guys. So you can see we built up this tree wildlife section on one of the outer disks that will supply oxygen to the full space station. As we look up, we now see all the floors in place ready to be filled. And, of course, from the outside, we see just how majestic this space station is looking. I am so pleased with how well this is coming on. And I really like the way that each disc has its own almost personality with its own unique build style. And I really like that looking in there and seeing the water fall down. I think it's come out really well, guys. So next time, I think we will carry on to build one of the outer discs and maybe even fill in the function of the main hangar. So I want you guys to let me know what you think should go on those top floors on the hangar because of course I want this build to be interactive and I want you guys to have your say into what goes on. So, thank you guys for watching. I am amazed by how much support you are giving this series. All the likes and comments on the previous videos have been absolutely amazing so keep it up. And I'll know that you guys want to see this build completed and I'll carry on getting these videos out for you. So, this has been Let's Build a Space Station. You have been fantastic and I will see you next time. Bye bye guys.